So this is a uh, video three of the HTML basics. This is uh, a continuation of uh, part two. And uh, in this video, we'll be going over the remaining tags and elements. So we'll start off with table. So tables is, is also very important. Um, so when you go to a site and it looks like a, a very a clean formatted table, something like basketball stats, the website is usually incorporating or using the HTML table. So the HTML table, this is actually a start to table. So this is the element. And then within the element, we want to find TR and TD. So to find the start of the table, you always want to look for the element or tag table. And then within the table, if you want to check out the rows, the rows are represented by the tag TR. And the uh, the elements of each row or each cell of a row, so every single cell of a row is represented by TD, which stands for table data. So we can actually ignore these three, but these are the important tags that we should know. Table, TR, and TD. So let's just take a look at the ESPN site. So the ESPN site holds a lot of statistics. Okay, here we go. And now I'm going to show you that if we click, uh, let's just click somewhere around here and let's just inspect this. If we inspect it, we should see a bunch of tables and TDs and TR. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I can make it a little bigger. Maybe you'll see it, but uh, let's see. Hopefully you guys can see this, but these are the TDs. So the TDs represent if I point to a TD, it's pointing to this portion. If I point to TD, it's pointing to different elements of the row. And if you go up here, so let's see here, here's the TR. So the TR represents the row, and the TD are representing the elements of the row. Now the T body, I guess it's just the body of the table. So the T body, in this case, I don't think we need to concern ourselves with the T body, but this is the start of the table. This table represents the start of the table, so this table is important for us because if we want to find the table, if we want to extract this table, we'll have to know the element table and we'll have to use this uh, class table head. So yeah, so that's it for uh, rows, tables, TD and TR. Let's just go on to the next element. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you was lists. Now, UL stands for list. UL is unordered list, OL is ordered list, and LI stands for the list item. So here's an example from the Mozilla site, which shows that within a paragraph, we have an unordered list. So these elements, this element represents an unordered list and the LI represent each element of a list. So we can locate lists very easily by uh, doing the find all list and then we can pull out the elements within the list. So now let's try to uh, get an example of lists. If you wanna pull out all the lists from a website using uh, beautiful soup, what we can do is soup.findall and then just type in, in this case, if you want to pull out all the unordered list, you can use soup.findall and it will pull out all the unordered lists. So as you can see here, we have an unordered list here. And let's just check. There seems to be a lot. Uh, let's see. So let's just check the length of this. Length of unordered list. So we have about 60 lists located within this. Now to find specific ones with classes, let's see. So let's just pull out the first one. Let's just pull out, since it, the result set is 60, let's just pull out the uh, first element of um, the result set. So this is the first list. Now, say we wanted to actually locate this list uh, specifically. So what we can do is, let's just copy this class so the same way we used uh, div in class, what we can do is soup.findall and we'll insert the tag name and then you just press comma, use class equals, we just paste the name of the class. So in this case, list list navigation. So let's see if this works. This should work. Soup.findall, we put in the tag and then we put a comma I would type in the, uh, the class parameter and we equal that to the, the name of the class. And if we uh, run this cell, if we run this cell, we get um, uh, this list. Now, one thing you have to be careful is sometimes um, some of these are, some of these lists are using JavaScript or they're embedded in JavaScript. So remember, I mentioned earlier that with, when we web scrape with beautiful soup, we won't be able to access some of the uh, JavaScript components of a web page. 
For that, we'll have to use selenium, which I'll go into a little later. But let's just take a look. Um, let's just try to find other lists, and I think we'll run into problems. So let's see here. Okay, so this is still the uh, Market Watch web page, and um, all right, let's see if these lists are gonna prove to be a problem. So if you can't, if you're getting an empty list. There's a possibility that it's uh, embedded in JavaScript, and let me just make this a little bigger. Okay, so there's a possibility that it's embedded in JavaScript, and we won't, we won't be able to pull out the list. So here's a list. Um, it's an unordered list, and the class is nav, dot, uh, nav drop children. So let's just copy this. So we should be able to find this. There should be no problem finding this because it's uh, we can actually locate this by class so it's an unordered list and the class is um, nav children so we should be able to locate this so I copy this okay so now let's just go to where we were okay so let's just try to find this find all so now we're working with the UL and let me just paste the uh, info we copied I'll just make it you know I can just copy paste so so let's just not forget the class a parameter and then have that equal to the name. So unordered list is the tag, class is the parameter, and we have that equal to this. So this should be able to pull out that particular section. However, you'll see that this runs into a problem. And if I click this, it's going to return a empty list. When that happens, first you want to make sure there's no errors. In this case, it doesn't seem like we're making any errors. And if that's the case, then usually it's because it's embedded in JavaScript and beautiful soup can't uh, find items that are embedded in JavaScript. So in that case, we'll have to use Selenium. How can you tell if something's embedded in JavaScript? But usually you can find the element saying script. So in this case, a lot of times, let's see, control, let's just use control F and let's just try to find the word script. Script. So anytime you see script, uh, that means it's utilizing uh, JavaScript. In this case, this whole portion is uh, JavaScript. This whole portion is JavaScript. So it's a combination of JavaScript with um, HTML. So anything within this script, we won't be able to locate using beautiful soup. So let's see. So this seems all to be JavaScript. And these buttons, these buttons as well are, are utilizing JavaScript. So um, anything in script is utilizing JavaScript. So in our case, just earlier, this most likely is utilizing uh, JavaScript. All right, so that's what lists. Um, okay, the next tag is image. Okay, so images. So images are another tag uh, represented by IMG, and its attribute is src. So let's just uh, try to pull out some images. Okay, first we can, what we can do is we can do soup that find all. Remember, the soup is uh, holding all the content, HTML contents of the Market Watch page. So we're just uh, utilizing that over and over and over and over again. So in this case, um, soup.findall img. So we're going to pull out all the occurrences of the tag img within a web page. So let's just uh, run this. And here we go. So img, uh, there's a bunch of images here. Uh, alt equals blah, blah, blah. But the images are usually held within this src attribute. Uh, if we look at this, there's a lot of different attributes and elements. Uh, there's some JPEG here. Actually, let's just look at the web page. All right, let's just go to the web page. All right. So we'll just control F. In this case, we'll just uh, look for an image. Okay. IMG. Okay, so we're able to find IMG with an open bracket, and here we go. Um, so here's an example with the SRC, which is holding, uh, I'm assuming, some sort of image. Yeah, so this is the Market Watch logo. Let's just uh, click down. Here's the SRC, so this seems to be another image. So this is probably an image of an article. Let's see, let's just look through a couple more. So here's another SRC. So this is another image. Okay, so what we can do is we can use the, uh, the get attribute. Let's just... Uh, so let's just uh, find the first image. Remember, find all finds all the occurrences of image or uh, whatever tag you're looking for within the web page and find just finds the first occurrence. So what we want to do is uh, soup the find image and then we want to get the SRC. 
So let's see if this works. Okay, so as you can see, this pulls out the uh, image, the uh, JPEG. So if you want to get an image, we just uh, use the get attribute and type uh, SRC, which is the attribute. Okay, so let's see, um, image. Okay, so yeah, so I think that's it. I think that's it for common tags and attributes. Uh, the next video I'm thinking I want to, I want us to just scrape uh, some specific portions. We're going to just test out scraping, get specific links, and we'll, we'll dive a little deeper into the beautiful soup portion. And in the future videos, we should probably also go over CSS selectors. So, so in this video, we went over uh, HTML. So in the next video, we'll pull out some stuff using HTML, then we'll go over uh, CSS selectors how to select or find things based off the uh, CSS selectors. All right, so that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time.